Hello, this is Running Robert, and either welcome or welcome back to Moons of Ardan. Uh, this is a system colony builder, is probably the best way to say it, with population management and stuff like that. Um, pretty much you need to uh, have resources across your entire solar system to build up each planet. It has been pretty fun. If you, uh, if, this, if you are just stopping by for the first time at 30 seconds, up here in the top right, you'll see info for video one if you want to check that out. And then if you look at a minute, you'll have the entire series. This is only number four, so there's really not that much. But let's go ahead and get into it. So when we last left off, we had two planets. And we're having a lot of fun. So just go over a very quick summary for you, for you peeps watching. We have Bella. Bella is one of our colonies here. Uh, pretty much with 600 something people we have all the food and water and currently here we are producing sand and we're trying to produce this bio ash so that we can make biofibers biofibers are big because that would allow us to actually create landing pads for our spaceship that is bigger than you think <laughs> and very 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 useful in this game so if we go on to tinar which is our second planet uh, if we look here, we had to colonize here to actually get the chromium ore. So uh, that is right here. And what we're going through here is we are trying to get this landing pad because if you can see of these discarded spaceships that are traveling around my planet are creating quite a mess. So a landing pad would be uh, would be very nice here, especially if you see all of this going on. So uh, pretty funny here. The population here is 60662. It has a lot of the same things that we have going on. So uh, let us return now to Bella, because that is where we need to start, or where, where we're going first. So we're going to put the speed up just a little bit here. OK, so we are making our biofibers now. Let's do the landing pad requires stone, biofibers, and uh, nanofibers. OK, and we will produce our first couple I'm trying to find out where they are actually located. Biofiber. Right, so right now we don't have bio ash, though we have same, though we have everything we need to build it. It's just very slow. Let's go ahead and let's um see if we can build up more of it. Which you know what? What what we have the problem here is that we are we don't make a lot of nanofiber here. It's just something that does not happen. Um, so let's go ahead, let's get our second one in here. This is one of the things that you can see now for the first time as we will pollute our solar system full of stuff. Okay, let's see, I know I built a ship somewhere. Okay, so this place, look at that, we have plenty of nanofibers. So what we are gonna do is we are gonna launch our own mission here. So we are gonna plan a mission. We are gonna load it up with uh, nanofibers and we're gonna send it back to Bella we're gonna send two two spacecraft out we go out here to the system we'll click it and we don't need three we just need two we have two of them being ready and loaded that should give us enough area to do it let's see what we have um, we're gonna see the launch because we're nerds like that we want to see this kind of stuff um, right now we don't have sand here so building the rest of this kind of worthless but the next thing that we will need is going to be this bye -bye, is going to be the soy field, which we actually can get here. So again, like I said, they're going to be interconnected planets. You see it flying there. That's the first one. The second one now is being loaded. So because we just don't produce a ton of it here, unfortunately. So I play a sand. Bioash, we should be making more of it. Max production of the problem is, yeah, it's only one a day. So, like I said, these these aren't making a lot of of, of this bioash, and then it's getting taken immediately into biofiber, which is here, which does two a day, which requires look at it two two to one. So we're not making a lot of it, but I think we got a comp. A, uh, there you go. I think we got our first one in. So oh, let's go ahead and let's build a landing pad here. Let's go ahead and we can use that now. Let's see my landing facilities over here. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna put that down 
right here. Ah, apparently that needs some population. So let's go ahead, let's see what we got. To increase our population here, not a lot of space. So we're gonna just go ahead and build another little township here. So population control is, as of course, as you need more jobs, you need more people. As you need more people, then you need more resources. Which means you need more jobs, which means you need more people, and it goes on and on and on until you're like, shoot, that's a lot of people. And then what happens is one of your main resources runs out. And then you're like, I'm in trouble. And that's generally how this game goes. Okay, so jobs, we're already over. 777 people, we'll let this sit for a second. Okay, so now we need that biofiber so we can make a landing pad on the next planet. So we just need six of them to be done. We have one right now. But we can actually transport stuff to this planet, which is extremely helpful. Okay, let's check clothing. Clothing is good. Tools are good. Uh, let's see, everything else okay. I'm gonna check here for tools. I'm, let's see, oh yeah, plenty of, plenty of ores. We can actually make another tool factory. I think we're in good shape here to keep that in relatively good. It does take a decent amount of people, but I think we're okay. All of this is going to get upgraded very soon. So we will need a little bit of everything here. So tools are eight. Clothes are six to three, and then 15 and 14. So we're gonna have to go and get more of everything. Let's see. Add in. We're just going to overbuild a little bit, make sure we're in good shape here. Okay, let's double check what we have. Yeah, now 24 and 21. Clothing is still six. I think we have not upgraded these buildings yet. As you see, they're coming online. Okay, so a total of 840 people. Let's gonna start going through some of the stuff that we need. But you see, hey, biofire, we've got enough there. So let's go ahead and let's um only need six to make the landing platform. Yes. At once. Okay. Cool. And we're staying on this planet till we hit that 840 mark because I want to make sure that... Oh, there goes the rocket. I want to make sure everything's okay. Like, you know, that's the part is I don't want to come to this planet and be totally dead because that would take a whole lot of rebuilding. And, you know, that's not quite where we're going here. So we're, we're going to make sure we get up to that population. I think I'm pretty good for those two for clothing. That's only 20 more. I don't think I'm going to go above four. And tools... Are close, sir, but not enough. Okay, yep. Cool. So it's over there. I think we're in good shape to actually go to that planet now. So in our and let's make this landing pad. And I don't know if my other ships will actually land or if they're just kind of like stuck up there. But now, nope. I think they're landing because all of a sudden that jumped up to nine and. We'll see. But now I can actually send stuff to the planet and have round trips and everything like that. So that definitely will help a lot of stuff that is going on. Because again, at this point, let's see. We need to start making this kind of stuff. And you can see this planet will need these fibers. Okay, so food. What do we have? What do we need? So food, we need our soy fields, uh, the low-grown plants of TNR that yield a nutrient-rich cereal. Uh, let's see, they get harvested and then grind into... It gets grinded and it gets made. Okay, now we know what happens. And then for the areas that we have these, more people. So that is kind of where we go at the moment. 
Okay, so let's let's go ahead and put one down. Let's see what it is. Uh, let's see, we're gonna put it over here at the moment. So I'm not sure how much space it's gonna use, so let's go with here. Yeah, I mean, it's pretty simple, because guess what? It doesn't require much, just no people. It just grows at half a day, wow. That is slow, so I guess we are going to be fielding this bad boy up a lot. That's one, two, that's four days. So let's go ahead and get this. And that work, looks like it works at five a day, so we're going to need a couple more fields. Okay, so let's see. Okay, so that's, well, it's already done. It's already a plan of that. Uh, so the next thing now we need is the mill. And that takes... Okay. That takes that. So what we can do now is we need to go to Vela. And... Now that we have it, I need to plan a mission. This is a round trip because of landing... Oh, I need to probably select where I'm going. In our, yep, round trip. Okay, so it is going to carry out the biofiber, and it will carry back some chromium ore. It will carry back some chromium tubes. Uh, let's see. Let's do two runs. Make sure chromium to the oh, 45, plenty. And we don't actually use them for anything, so it's good. Okay, so the first one is away. Oh, where's the landing pad? Let's go ahead and watch this bad boy. If it, if it actually does, let's see. I can't remember if there's an animation for it, but we're gonna find out. There's still so many small spacecraft that are just... Uh, oh, no. I guess it does not land. I guess they do not have that animation yet. Which is fine. Which is fine. This is, it. This is still an alpha build. They're, they're still building it out. They've done a good job with keeping it updated. So I, I really don't have any issue with it. So let's go ahead. Let's make this. Put this here. Okay. That can make up to five a day, which one, two, three, four, five, six. Gonna need more more of these guys. Six. Uh seven. Eight. Hold on the shift and it'll make it go straight. We make it we gotta do nine and eleven. Twelve. Thirteen. Fourteen. Fifteen. Sixteen. Seventeen. Eighteen. Twenty. One, twenty-two, six. A little bit extra. Because like I said, this is only doing five a day. Go ahead. Let's, there's the milk. Okay. The milk can produce five a day. I did it for two. And then this is water. Ooh, look at that. We're going to actually need some water to produce these sandwiches. We're going to put that here. And then right by it, we're actually going to put the water that we need. So we need two of these and another water there. This water is four a day. These need to produce two a day. I think we'll be in good shape there. Okay, so let's try check our dwellers again. So that's half a day. That's five and five. That's ten and five. And that's sandwiches. So I do need another arm. And some upgrades. Don't particularly upgrade in mass. Yep, that gets me above the population I need. These being red mean they are full. I've, I've said that before, so we do have a stock pond there. We are making our first sandwiches. Okay, so these have extra people in them. So it means we can go ahead and we can upgrade this stuff. 
We need 200. That's going to be close. One more. Jewelry. Nice. So now guess what they want? They want to be they want to be fancy. Uh, let's see. So now we need to find let's see this does not have the resource I need. Source for so what do we looks like what we have is we get the resource. Uh, let's see, turn into the bars. Looks like biofilm. Uh, looks like biofilm and that, and then we just jewelry into jewelry. That's actually not as complicated. However, to get it here, we are going to have to travel again. Now, we could just actually. And here's the big issue. Again, it's full transport. That's where we're going to need to go. Let's find out where this is first. Let's go to source. Yep. Okay, so source is where we're going, having to go. Let's see. So that's the regular ore. That's the chromium there. Everything is right there. So, wow, that's a pretty good spot there. Okay. So we can send it from either planet. That's perfectly okay. Uh, let's see. Let's go here and do a, a quick check. This is full population. Always good to continue to check. Five, you know, tools are close. Three and okay, we're we're two away from both of them. Food and water, pretty good. Everything else is in good options. If we need to, I can actually make this here. Rain, I don't know what granulum is yet. Not gotten there. Okay. So that's pretty good here. So this is good. In our, it's probably good because I recover the spaceships. Three a day, but we're waiting for transport five. Okay, we have our first problem. These are downgrading. Why are they grounded? Because we don't have enough sandwiches. Why don't we have enough sandwiches? It is full of stock. The stockpile is full. We need more warehouses. Get that going then. Warehouse. Warehouse. Okay, let's let's take care of that because that is bad to happen. So when they downgrade, they, they will lose people. Now we haven't save it. When you lose people, you lose population. Which then becomes just like a cyclical terrible event for you because then stuff stops working. When stuff stops working, guess what? Look right now, you already can see it don't have enough tools because we ran out of the rods and we're not going to be able to catch up. So we're going to slowly run out of that just because of that little population issue that we had right there. That's very important to look at. So what we're going to look at actually at the moment is tools. Again, I think I need somewhere to build more of those. So that's what we're going to do. I'm going to put a couple more warehouses in too, just so we know that production occurs. There's pretty good. Okay, so again, let's see if we can actually get this tools back up to a point. We also might just be running low on tools. We just might not have enough people for it. Go ahead there. Well, it should be good because wood, we're, we're okay with. So now we're in good shape here. Again, with the population growing, it's gotten closer. Okay. So we have our first sandwiches here. We're making them in, in good spirits, not a problem. We can continue to increase our population when needed. So again, we can just kind of put these in. Let's see, I think we're gonna have to cut some of these populations here to make enough space for it. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna delete, delete, and delete. And then I'm gonna put that right in there for the maximum. And that's going to grow fairly quick. We did lose a population. We, we're going to, everything's going to go down for a little bit. I think we can survive. Assist. Oh, I think I cut my wood a little bit there. That's okay. Okay. Seven one. Oh, we're actually going to be short, short. Well, let's let some of these houses fill up. I think we're pretty good with it. So being able to let them, yeah. It's gonna give me a 
little extra population boost. 784 is what I need. Energy management. Okay, energy's next. We're not there yet because we don't have jewels. So that's that's where we need to go next. I think, let's see. Go ahead and we can create some. And, okay. I think that's going to get me close. Yeah. Okay, so everything's in good shape there. Okay. Ah, well, we're about to launch a whole bunch of small spacecraft into this atmosphere. <laughs> How about my next planet? Oh, good luck to them. All right, let's check sandwiches. Sandwich levels. Sandwich levels are great. Love sandwich levels. We're doing wonderful on them. Okay, uh, the next thing now is to worry about jewelry. And I think I'm just going to worry about it at this planet, per se, because I don't need it in the other planet at the moment. So we're just going to try to add one and go from there. Um, this is everything I need to do with it. I think it's in pretty good shape. So, let's see. We're going to Saurus. Okay, so let's go and find my platform. It's over here. Let's plan some missions. Uh, let's see. First is wood. Saurus. One, two, three. Three. I think we're good for that at the moment. Yep, we got all of the... We got a lot moving over to here. And then, of course, we're going to be going to the little asteroids in a little bit. I wonder if any of the little asteroids have anything I need. That's. I haven't actually looked at them very much here. Oh, we actually have premium more here. We do have premium more here and vultures. Okay, that's kind of cool. But I like, I like the full planet. Okay, there's more premium more. Ah, the asteroids are pretty nice. This is the last one. Yep. Okay. Like I said, we're going to have 28 to start with. I think it's a good little start. You can see our empire population is now up to 1,600 people. Yep. <laughs> they get launched like, nope, I'm going over that way. Gas sign up? Nope, can't click the gas sign. I was just thinking about it. Okay, so while we're looking, let's I'm gonna go ahead and look at the energy. Not bad. Reduces energy and doesn't require much. Have everything I need for it. Ooh. I don't have enough sorium here. Alright, well, how many I have another war plan on this? I don't. Ooh. There is nothing in the storage for this. So the stuff is start is gonna start going down, so uh, let's let's go to Vela. Vela, let's see, check here. Plenty of ore. Production is eight a day. We are gonna make a second one. We're gonna need it. Is there a third? Nope, there's there's three. There we go. Let's go here. Let's see, because yeah, we use six a day, and so we are not gonna have enough in the other planet. So we already are kind of running through some issues here. So let's go ahead and uh, let's find my spaceship here. Land mission. Okay. This is going to travel on an infinite loop. So let's get Sorium. Going to TNR. Infinite loop. Ah, uh, so every day... I don't, want, I don't want this moon storage going below five. I don't want this moon storage going below ten, and you'll take it. And we're good. Okay, and now we have our first infinite loop going on how's tnr holding out pools are going to cause some issues at some point because we don't have enough ore 
Well, we barely have enough for it, but we don't have enough. It immediately gets turned into rods. Max production is four a day, industry consumption is eight a day. So we're, we're gonna have to keep an eye on that. Because we don't have enough of it here. So again, I'm gonna see, you're gonna see this kind of now going every day. And hopefully it will be enough to keep us out of trouble from losing tools. Right now it's okay that we're producing six a day. But that could go down real quick. So. Okay. Well. This planet now has enough of what we need. And has, oh, look at that, has over two. So let's see, chromium. We need that. Let's go ahead and start our first. I need to start it by there. That'd be nice. Well, we can just start it here. We can we can move on as we need. Okay. Go ahead. Let's get this wood going. Oh, initial production is nine. I love it. Initial production here is six. I love it. First thing there. So let's go ahead. One. Two. Three. Eight. Okay, again, food, water, okay, and people. Let's get more people going. And not enough. Not enough people to do all the jobs I need. So again, we'll need some biofilm. Uh, we'll send it from Bella. That's perfectly okay. I think this actually is a little closer. So, biofilm it. You're going to go to Storis. One, two, three, four. Okay, so let's see what we got going on. Don't quite have enough for food yet. And so we're in a little bit of a population crunch until those new spaceships get here. And here comes the first one. We're going to check TNR for a second, too. Again, checking the tool situation. Seems like it's holding up okay. Seems like that is holding up okay. We're going to have to continue to move Cellium. That is just how it's going to have to be. Okay, so more people first. Okay, population. Like I said, the population is starting to come up. We should be getting our first food unlock soon. Yep, there it goes. Food is finally starting to unlock. That will help this population go up a good amount. Yeah, to 40, 50. There we go. Perfect. Okay, let's get a warehouse going. And let's get the bio crushers going. Let's get two of them right off the bat. Yeah, these are producing eight and five. They're plenty for now. Having enough bio crushers are going to be important. And get another warehouse there. We need just wood. There. Okay, so this planet is already off and hopping. Like I said, we're going here for the ore. Going for the ore, we're staying for the gold. All the gold. Right now, we still need more wood. Yeah, wood always seems like it's a problem. Even when I have a huge chunk of it everywhere. 
Nine five is good. The wood production twenty five and twelve. Perfect. Okay, that's making six a day. That's pretty good. Let's we're gonna pump it up just a little bit to nine. Because again, you won't as as we've seen every time, it's gonna make a huge effect here. And so now we have our next colony set up. So now we have colonies on Vela, which are continuing to supply the resources that we need, or in good in good order, planet Inar, which is doing very well, though it's running out of ore every time. At right now we have enough Smolian rods at the moment, so it's okay. But it seems like this is a decent mix, though. As more tools come up, this planet's going to start to cause some issues. That can make life a little bit more fun and maybe stop growth in the population a little bit. But we'll see. But I hope you join me next time as we continue to get that gold and we will be making some jewelry. So thank you very much for watching and I hope you have a wonderful day.